Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, um, yeah, we came back onto a Fibonacci, and uh, I think that's quite important. And there it is, there, straight back, uh, just past the 50, close to 61.8, perfect zone, as I said yesterday, for an entry. And um, that's kind of what happened. So for me at the moment, it is looking for opportunity. And just want to get rid of this. Um, there we go. So for me at the moment, it's looking for opportunities on the pullback. So we're back in this range. You can see there's the range there. And I'm just going to get rid of some of these levels here. So we can get rid of some clutter. Um, yeah, so we, we're kind of back in this uh, range. You can see there is a bit of a range bar that went and it's going at the close was a green bar anyway a uh, nice big bounce solid engulfing green bar uh, grouping of the oscillators off a level everything is textbook at the moment so uh, we're looking for pullbacks to buy off again and um you know this trend is up guys there's i mean you, i don't know don't want to belittle anybody but there are a couple of you that are giving me a hard time about being long um I mean, a, a two-year-old can draw that line and see that this is trending up. Uh, why in the world would you even want to be looking at shorts? Wait for the pullback, see them as buying opportunities and buy into them. Life becomes a lot less stressful. Anyway, I suppose we'll always get our perma bears and uh, we're predicting the market to fall who think they are bigger and mightier than the Federal Reserve. And if you really think the Federal Reserve can allow the taps to be switched off now after they've put so much into it um, i think you're very very wrong but anyway uh moving to the three hours so the three hour we, as you can see we are in this this area now the important thing at the moment is obviously this level here and uh that is 34 200 so that's the first level we need to break we do have a bit of a triangle for me here at the moment and uh, you can see we've got a nice double bottom here uh, broken above it this is the bottom of the range uh, Ideally, I'd love to see a pullback onto the structure here of 33.783 for another leg to the upside. Uh, there's just so much going on at the moment that is indicating the downward move is finished. There's your trend line as well broken. And it's actually a channel that's broken or even a bit of a, a flag that's broken. So uh, let's just get to the hour. That's the one that we're really interested in. Okay. So... Do, do, do. Let's move that up. So there you can see that pretty clear wedge um, over the last, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, then Thursday sort of dropped first, getting everybody excited that uh, it's going to continue and then immediately move the upside. And that's probably where you had your, most of the stop losses were sitting for the trend down. And you can see the acceleration through it. So uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for the nearest inside tail to indicate an area of support so this was support it was broken uh, came back up below it so that is my nearest support area that is 33996 so basically 3400 is the area we need to pay attention to um, this is a pretty decent double bottom but uh, that played out so this was a target of this double bottom so that's played out didn't really get back a let me just get this I'm going to retest back of this um, inside tail at 33754 so what are we looking for we are looking for either a breakout or a pullback on structure so pullback on structure this is the first one okay so that is 33996 and then a breakout would be 34200 so those are the two areas that we're looking for breakout retest 34200 long it is and that does set up a bit of a cup and handle, even a inverse head and shoulders, very small shoulder there, head, shoulder. So that would give us an equal move of what we got yesterday. Now, that is significant in its own because that was a 843 point move or pip move. And that takes us pretty much all the way back to the all-time high. Okay, so that is the view that I have at the moment and um, nothing really else into it, waiting for structure and then looking to buy into it. 15 minutes will probably be the order of the day to get nice entries. This swing low here with this uh, 
to the bottom here is your area where your stop loss is going to be. Um, looking at the DAX, it does look like Europe may just uh, bolt to the upside, which will probably add fuel to the fire as well. But uh, anyway, that's my view for today. I um, hope it helps you and uh, enjoy the weekend. We'll catch up with you on Monday. Cheers for now.